M0 FXB Handtech, welcome to my channel. I've had a question from someone. Can you set up a Helltech version three from scratch? And I happen to have one here that's just come through the post and it's actually version 3.1. So I'm quite pleased about that because I thought it was version three. It's the latest model. And also some new firmware has been released as well called version 2.30. And so we're gonna load that onto it. So let's just do it. Now, remember I'm learning, you know, before people jump in and go, you don't know what you're doing. And I, speak, and I will say, yes, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning, please don't start messaging me. Um, so this it is. This is it out of the box, about 25 pound. It's version 3.1, how do I know? Because it says it under this thing here. It says version three. If you look closer, <laughs> under the version three, it actually says 3.1. So this, if you've never used one of these devices before, this is the Helltech version three, and it's basically a mini radio. Yeah, and a lot more, you know, it has a board that has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, serial connection, USB-C, I believe that's your Bluetooth antenna. Now, before you ever fire one of these up, make sure you connect the antenna, because if you fire, turn one of these on without the antenna, you could break it, basically. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm very lucky with this particular one, because it's got an antenna connector here, which just clips on. There you are, clips on like so, don't be too scared. But it's got one with an SMA adapter, the other one I had didn't have that, so it means I can screw on the, one of these sort of hotspot type antennas. Or, this is the big plus, an extension, you know, uh, like a, a co I don't know, like a external antenna, which I do plan to do eventually. So we're ready to go regarding hardware. The other thing you need to make sure you've got is a decent USB-C, and it, these are C, yeah cable and what I do is let me think now just plug it in after the antenna connection it will fire up now most of these come not preloaded okay so it's just going to fire up with the default whatever Helltech put on there and it's looking for Wi-Fi ETC but don't worry about any of that don't take any notice of that the next thing you need to do is go along it's actually if you did you see that it's actually picking up my Wi-Fi because you can search and add Wi-Fi you can control these using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a serial connection. But right now we're gonna do it via, I think we'll do it via my phone because that's what most people do. So the first thing we'll show you is the flashing software, which is this link here on the left. And you'll see that it's completely been thought through to make your life a lot easier. And my life as well. Let's move that over. So first thing to do is select your target. I just finish off by saying that when I say these little 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 mini radios, um, with a, in in England it's an 868 megahertz frequency that you would buy. They basically are sending 868 megahertz, uh, you know, messages via radio directly. So the whole why do they call them off grid network mesh network? Because if you've got someone near you, it retransmits and retransmits, and you decide how many times it will retransmit. I believe in the hop selections. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. So you've basically got a repeater and if there's lots of you in the area, you're gonna all be repeating all this stuff to you. And it's nothing to do with 4G. You know, you don't need a, to buy a SIM card. You don't need to pay for broadband. It's free and that's the whole thing about this. You can be anywhere and you think, well, why would I? I've got the internet, I've got 4G. I'll tell you why. Because in, in an off-grid emergency situation where there is none of that, and look, this was actually showing the frequency on the screen as well. Look, waiting for Laura Data. Um, in an off-grid situation, that might be very, a very handy thing. And these don't use any power. You can have a battery in your pocket and power these. And I take these on, on this on a dog walk with me. Uh, and I tell you now, you get up on a hill, you go somewhere high with your dog, which we do quite often, uh, and loads of messages are coming in, loads. All right. And so it is a hobby item, but it's also, there's a serious side to this as well, um, if you want it to be. But for me, it's a hobby item. So we've connected the USB-C, we'll go to our device manager you can see the software the links in the description we'll go right click here on the windows squares let me just show you that right click sorry it's not the clearest image on my little mesh tastic device manager the cable's plugged in now you're going to know if it's a good cable because 
when you double click COM ports, you're going to get this look Silicon Labs 210 USB to ART bridge. And mine's 29, your number will be different, but that will be the same. So that's great. If you've got one of those uh, data, one of those cables that have no data, then you won't get that. So just get a better cable. Yeah. So we'll close that down. We're going to select the device. So this is called the Helltech version 3. Now remember, there's lots to choose from. I recommend starting with the budget ones to get used to it. So I've got the T-Beam budget one and the ha and the Tracker one, and I and I've had great fun with them, and they weren't expensive. But anyway, Helltech version 3. Then we move across to the firmware. So I'm going to try that new one that's out down here, Alpha. So you've got the stable versions at the top, which is probably the ones I recommend you use uh, from my personal experience. But I'm going to go with the Alpha, which looks like it's the sort of development one. Someone put, correct me if I'm wrong, please. And then all you do is click Flash. And you get this window open up here. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select. Let's have a look here. And it's telling us all about the bug fixes, the enhancement. Look at all the work that's gone into this new firmware. So pleased. Um, so let's just click continue. And I'm going to do fully raise here. It's up to you if you want to do that. But I most will do that. You don't have to touch the, the what do you call it, um, erase, flash, and install. You don't have to touch that. So let's just go, right, where are we? Sorry, I'm getting confused now. Let's just do that again. Sorry, because my phone went off and it put me off. Erase, flash, and install. Then you find the COM port that was 29 that we saw earlier. 29, connect. And it just does it. Then we're going to grab our phone, which we'll see in a, back in a minute. Download the Meshtastic app. Just go to the Play Store, or if you're on iPhone, you can go there. I'll just pause while this is doing it, because it does take you know, about four minutes, I would say. You can see the screen goes black, it still flashes. Of course, don't disconnect the cable, but I don't think you have to worry about bricking these items. My experience is, if it goes wrong, you just flash it again. Right, we've downloaded the app. We're all ready for the completion. Getting close. When the app finishes, it will probably automatically try and pair. Swipe down and just go to your Bluetooth and just make sure you've enabled your, you know, turned on your Bluetooth. Right, we're at 100%. Now we could add a battery. They do come with a connector. We haven't done it in this case, but you can see straight away it says Meshtastic. Buy yourself a little 3.7 volt battery. I'll put links in the description. Solder it to the plus and the minus, okay? And just plug it in there, job done. Get yourself a little case, you know? And it will last for hours, honestly. So, um, it's loaded up. Now we need to try and add it to our Bluetooth. So let's just swipe down and get our phone doing that. So you go pair new device. Um, it will be there, that's the one. Now I've got several devices. You can pair more than, a, more than one at a time. Okay, now we're just gonna go, okay. I'll just step that and just click okay, or is it not? Oh, we need the, the number here, sorry. So we gotta put in 811, and it changes every time, but I think you can set it not to do that. But anyway, we're just gonna go 811563. Well, not, I think you can set it not to keep changing the number. So we got that right. Pairing, yes. And we're straight on there. You saw the word long fast, which is the sort of the channels that we get. So let's go back to the app. We'll go back. We'll find the app. So we're going to choose the one that we've used. So this is where you could add more than one and you could choose other ones. So we're just going to go Mistastic there. And then we're going to need to choose. It's already configuring. As, I, as soon as I did that, you don't have to keep pressing enter all the time. It just does it for you. Then it wants us to choose our region. Now in the USA, I believe you're US. You go for US, yeah? And that's 900 odd megs. But I'm in the UK, so we go EU868. And it just does it, look, reboot. So 
So already, it's usable, already, yeah? It knows I'm called this, it's configured the module, it's put me straight on long fast one, so you're set up already, all right, inside this room, you're not gonna get much on this antenna sat inside this room, which has got thick brick walls around it, but I'll tell you now, the second you go upstairs, stick it out your window, hopefully you'll get some messages. So let's just go through this like we know nothing. We're not gonna change any settings here in the readings, we've done that. We'll do the first one, and these are messages. Look at, let's look at the time. Um, it's now 10.28, so nothing is, is coming at all yet. Peers. If you wait, I've noticed that um, here is when you'll start to, if I put it out the window, we'll start to get you know some messages come through. And I've been watching Lewis Ringway's thing and there's a lot of settings that he's recommended so we don't hog the network. Luckily for us, I'm not too busy. Now, I believe he said that 59% yeah, is, means it's not as busy as say 99%. So. Um, with the, there's a whole new thing of learning to this called MQTT where you link to a server which is you know effectively not really off grid and then you can download lots of things and see what's going on but it's it, you know don't I would say that's not a recommended thing that you do too often we hit the flag there's your map so if you can find myself on this map so there's my area I'm not it's not showing anything at the moment and Go here, I noticed that before, not use that, someone tell me why we use that, but there's a long fast channel. Let's just quickly go to radio configuration then, we'll start off with the user. Each time you select something it talks, yeah? So that's me, what I am, we'll go back with the back arrow, and we'll go to channels. And here's my channel, and it's here I believe we can start sending messages. The upload download link, I believe, is more to do with the MQTT. View device. I always enable C report. It means you can connect it to the PC via a USB cable. I don't really touch anything else. Position. Now, we, I have got a GPS module, believe it or not. But I just need to connect it. I think that'll be my next video just for fun. But it looks like, let's see if I can grab it out of my box here like this yeah? you do need because the Helltech version 3 doesn't come with this all I don't know the hardware you need to connect that we have to use this device which is a let's get it the right, right way around oh it's hard to read can you read that GY GPS uh, 6M I think it is I think that's what it's called it's 6M they're not expensive they're about fiver that with a couple of cables and this, I think it's four cables, the plus and the minus and the RXTX, plus and minus to power it all, and the RXTX, and away you go, and I will be making a video on that soon, I'll leave that there for now. Otherwise, just use your, you can use a fixed position, you turn that on, type in a fixed position here, I'll just go, I'm just gonna type in 52. Like so, and here I'm going to type in two. Does it want to naught? It might want to naught. There you go, tick. And that's it's got some sort of position now. There, so we just go. When we oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Each time you do that, you need to send it to your device. Look, reboot. Close. Let me get that a bit brighter, I think. Okay, go back one. Let's keep looking at these settings. Might, is it let me set now? It might need to take a bit longer. There you are. There's a bit of a reboot time. Position, power. Power saving. I don't think I ever touched that. Display. If I ever touch, I don't think I've ever touched that. Go back. Laura is, you keep seeing the word Laura. Laura is the radio part because. These, and there's different types of units, they have a, a radio board built into them. Some are more obvious than others. I've got this one here, which is called, I'm pretty sure it's a Lilligo T-beam. Even I forget, there's so many. There's a very obvious radio board and GPS board on these items. There's, I think that's the GPS there. Has my soldering come off? It looks like I might have to resolder that, I don't know. 
doesn't feel very tight but anyway it's got a battery and works great I love this one because you really feel like you've got something you've got buttons here and you have buttons on the Helltech unit as well I'll show you them next once we finish looking at the app the PC interface is very similar so there's your MQTT which is not enabled so when you're enabled to that you join the MQTT server and you go to your channel and you click upload and download whatever and then what happens is sorry about my glare on my camera hello um, but you know, I, mean, I just get stuck in and dive into these things. Even I, um, you know, don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, serial, then you've got all these other things. So, reboot, shut down, factory reset. So that's up and running. If you want to send a message, go to your long fast. Go to the bottom and go, let's just go high. And don't send loads of messages because it does take a while. Um, <clears throat> Sometimes it's busy to get through. Now I've sent that. I just want to get rid of the keyboard now. Somehow, come on, get rid of the keyboard. Right, go back. Oh look, I'm now showing up on this map. Of course I put a position in, so I'm probably in the middle of the ocean. Um, but that's, see what I did mean? Because I put the position in, I'm now showing up. Back to messages, I sent a high. See there's a, a, a cross there through the, you know, cloud I would say that means and someone please correct me it didn't get through okay it didn't get through when there's no when there's a tick there it gets through but look come on who am I gonna keep I communicate with myself I could try it with this other node I've got here I definitely recommend you need at least two to properly play with this um, so let's just send the high again and see if that comes through actually I'll type hand tech and just click send there it is there, Hamtech. You might think, oh, big deal, you sent the word Hamtech from here to here, but don't forget, these are traveling for miles. I go upstairs and mine are going to Bristol, no problem. And this is no internet, you know, no broadband, no, it's a free service. There's my little battery there, that's the battery you should get. That's a good one, that is. That's better than the battery in my little Midland CB mic. I might swap it, because I don't need this Midland CB mic has got a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, same voltage, that's a 2,000. I'm gonna have a look, see if it'll fit, <laughs> and then just swap them. But yeah, you can see that on this one I've got the case, the case just clips off the front here. Um, cool, it's quite, get off there, yeah. So, cool, I can't get it off. Did I glue it on or something, but you've got, the button, see the buttons, you flick through the different items with the top button and then reset with the bottom. So if we look here, uh, let's, uh, let's just start pushing the top button. And we should just scroll through. So joined mesh tastic. GPS not present. And the good thing is that when you do switch these to Wi-Fi, they show you your your IP address. So you can just put your IP address once you've switched, and I'll show you how to switch, and um, and go to your computer and talk to it. And you don't have to hold this fiddly little item. So keep going through. Yeah, we're not getting much information because we haven't received much of it. But if I go upstairs, we will, and I know we will 100%. These work great. So just quickly regarding the settings, see if we can find the Wi-Fi. So we'll go back with the arrow. What's this one here? There's, oh, that was the message. See, that says that it did go through. Yeah, I just sent a hi there. So something's happening. Um, we'll go back to three dots, radio, and we're gonna look for network. So at the moment, it's just, oh, by default, it's using Bluetooth, okay? But we can turn on Wi-Fi. Now what you do is when you turn it on in these two bits here, you put in the username and password of your router at home. And then enable, go to the bottom, send. And then it will, instead of it coming back, instead of it working like this, maybe I'll just do it because I am waffling. Uh, let's get network. We're gonna lose connection with Bluetooth. We're gonna turn it on, but what I'm gonna do is put in my SSD and click send. And then we'll quickly flick over to the PC and see if we can uh, just quickly control it via Wi-Fi and you'll see what I'm on about. So, username, password in, scroll up, 
send and it's now going to flick it over and when it reboots we're going to have an IP address. We'll put that into my unit. I mean how cool is that for a 20 quid item? Get this glary torch out of my face. <laughs> um, okay, give me an IP address. Let's try pushing these buttons. You could download I advanced IP scanner. Probably have to wait a minute for it to log in, you know, to find my router and connect, as long as I got the password right. I bet you I just got to reboot. So let's unplug it and reboot. And they reboot fast. Try again. Yep, there it is. So 192.168.04. Let's put that in our browser. So you get this window. And then we're going to click New Connection. And in this window, it can either connect, you could select connect serial. Remember, we enabled serial and it would connect via serial, but we've chose, you know, we've clicked the IP address, so it just wants to connect to that for now. I don't know what use TLS is, someone tell me. Um, so now we're just going to click connect. And everything we were seeing on our device, we're going to now see here. So the device is at the top. Now, the peers is, is the one I messaged, my other device. Okay. I could turn that back on actually, I turned it off for a bit. Let's turn it back on. And let's just go to the map. And there I am. Middle of nowhere probably. Yeah. Middle of the ocean, that's because I just put a rough address in, but it's there. You know, at the end of the day it's there. It's on the Mishtastic system, it knows I'm there. Messages, I'll send another hi like so, and that's gone from me to my other unit. I should have put it so you could see it, but it says hi, okay? If I wanted to, I could go back and control this unit, which I wonder if it's like via, if I've got it on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I'm not seeing Wi-Fi, so I'd say it's on Bluetooth. So what I'd have to do is go into my app. I think that's enough for this video. You, could, you know, I just wanted to do a, and you know anyone can use Meshtastic. It's not a hard system to use. It's actually very easy. But like anything, you have to learn it. There's a bit of learning, and I'm hoping that this has helped you learn. And uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Having great fun here, learning these gadgets, and they are gadgets, you know. And I am a gadget person, as you can tell. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Seven three, all the best.